They are here this morning to share their story and discuss how their Army journeys help them build a successful career out of uniform. Welcome to the show. Good to have you here. Thanks Thank you, Allison. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah, this is great. So first of all, could you just tell us about your journeys to the Army and then how your service actually brought you together? Yeah, definitely. Um, so taking it way back, um, when I was 11, uh, I actually decided that I wanted to go to West Point. And when it came time to apply to colleges, West Point was actually my only application. I threw all of my eggs into one basket. When I was a senior at West Point, I was actually the fourth woman in West Point history to be appointed as the first captain, which means that I was ranked number one out of 4,400 cadets at the academy, um, which really set me up for success as an aviation officer, where I served in the Army for nearly 10 years. Um, I had the privilege of flying the Apache helicopter for about three years. Um, and then I was actually selected as the first female in U.S. Army history to pilot the age six Little Bird for special operations, which was truly a life changing experience. And now I'm currently in my second year at Harvard Business School. I'm pursuing my MBA. Um, I am co-founding my home with my husband, Gabe. And one thing I did forget to mention, we, we met when we were um, cadets at West Point beginning of our junior year to have been together ever since. I love the story. So Gabe, tell us a little bit about your inspiration behind my home and what are your goals for this business? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, a little bit about my background, uh, West Point graduate. Uh, I was an infantry officer and I got out of the military in 2020. Uh, so after leaving the army, I immediately entered into the home services industry. That's what my dad did. I kind of grew up in that area, so I knew it. Um, and at the same time, Lindsay and I became first time homeowners and we had no idea what to do. We didn't know what home ownership was about. We had something break in the house. So it was my job to fix it. I didn't know how to fix it. I turned to Google. I called four or five different companies. I tried to get on their schedules. There was delays in scheduling. Uh, a couple of people didn't know how to fix it. It was really just this arduous process that took uh, a couple of weeks to get a simple problem solved. Uh, so it was both of these experiences that led us to create a solution for homeowners which is my home. So with the My Home app, the homeowner has to take a picture of the problem in the home. That picture then gets sent to all of our vetted professionals inside of the app. The homeowner then receives multiple quotes inside the app. They then choose a provider, schedule and pay all inside the app. So we've changed that and reduced that three week process into a simple four minutes for the homeowner. So it really is the most streamlined way to maintain and improve your home. So Lindsay, how did your time in the Army then shape your career and your careers together as entrepreneurs? Yeah, definitely. Serving in the Army taught Gabe and I just invaluable skills um, that we've been able to transfer into entrepreneurship. So first, it's the ability to identify and mitigate risk. Um, it's essential for both, you know, in mission in the Army, but also in business. When the stakes are high and information is limited, you learn to make these complex decisions under stress, which mirrors these challenges that Gabe and I are facing every day um, as founders. And then at my home, our values be a good person, figure it out, and buy a pair of cleats. These values have been inspired by some great, the greatest leaders that you know we've gotten to know and work with in the Army. And we believe that embodying these principles drives really positive impact, not just on the people that we work with, but also on our mission at my home. What would each of you say, just briefly, uh, what would you say to a young person who is considering Army service? Yeah, I'll be very brief with it. I would say even short-term service brings long-term benefits. That's as brief as I can get. You don't have to do 20 years to experience the benefits. It's yeah, and, and just to, to build off of, of Gabe's point, I mean, as veterans, we have access to such a wide range of, of benefits that help ease that transition into life after service. So for example, I'm using the GI Bill to pursue my MBA, and then we use the VA loan to buy our, our first home. So you know, none of these things would be as easy as they were if it weren't for our time in the Army. So just these benefits are just absolutely invaluable. And if people want to learn more about my home or the army, how can they get more information? So for the army, they can go to goarmy.com. That's going to have everything they need there. Uh, and for my home, we're we're excited to announce that we've partnered with a, a local nonprofit called Creative Vets. Creative Vets uh, introduces creative outlets like music and art to people, veterans struggling with PTSD. So for every app download across the country for Veterans Day, we're donating one dollar per download. So if you want to make a difference and you're listening to this, all you have to do is download the app. You can either scan the QR code, 
or you can go to your app store and type in My Home Experts. Download that app. We'll contribute to this incredible cause together uh, and help support some veterans this Veterans Day. Yeah, well, first and foremost, Gabe and Lindsay, thank you both for your service and thank you both for joining us today on the show. It's good to see you. Thank, thank you, Allison. You